It's below freezing right now, minus three degrees Celsius. So it's a little colder than before, but got an early start to the day, just woke up a bit early. So, okay, good start to the day. I was listening to So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. There's this idea right now that was popularized by Malcolm, Malcolm Gladwell about the 10,000 hour rule, that you need 10,000 hours worth of practice to get really good at something. But not all 10,000 hours are created equal among people. Like for example, there are chess players who spent about 10,000 hours, but one of them is a grandmaster and one of them is still at an intermediate level. So what's the difference between their practice strategies if they are still spending the exact same 10,000 hours? And Cal Newport talks about deliberate practice. For example, he gives the example of this musician where this guy spent about the same amount of time as another musician in terms of practice hours, but how they spent their practice hours were really different. Like for example, this guy who wasn't very successful as a musician, he would just practice mastering a song on the guitar and then just play the mastered song again and again because he just in hated learning new songs, but enjoyed playing songs that he already mastered. But on the other hand, the guy who was a very successful musician who practiced a similar number of hours as him, constantly was practicing by playing by ear. So he would just listen to something and try to play it. And learning to play by ear is a very difficult thing to do and unpleasant. So at least it was unpleasant to the guy who just played his mastered songs again and again. So the guy who was playing by ear again and again was constantly stretching himself. And this is the key idea that Cal Newport said. Each practice should be a stretch. So for the example of chess, people thought that if you played in tournaments, then that would increase your skill. But in tournaments, if you're playing a really bad person that's way worse than you or a person that's way better than you, then you don't really learn anything. So what they found for chess was that studying books and going over different exercises, quizzes, like, you know those chess quizzes where you have a given scenario and you're trying to figure out the right move? Those kind of studying and exercises are the activities that really boosted their skill over time. So the key idea I got from this part of the book is that not all practice is equal. In each practice, you have to stretch yourself. And by stretching, you are doing something that is uncomfortable because you are pushing your boundary or learning something new. So this iteration of pushing yourself with each practice is really important. And I was thinking, how does that apply to my YouTubing? And I couldn't really come up with a clear answer. My videos are naturally changing bit by bit over time the more I'm making them, but I don't know how to push myself with each video and I don't really want to get into fancy editing techniques or anything like that. I, I like to keep things very simple and easy to do. So I'm not exactly sure how it applies to me, but it's useful to keep in mind that not all practice is equal and that you should constantly be stretching yourself. Anyways, learn something interesting on this walk this morning. Okay, so the goal is 50 pull-ups, 65 push-ups in under 18 minutes. Let's do it. So that's just over 16 minutes, 50 pull-ups, 50 pull 74 push-ups. My push-up count is going up in proportion to my pull-up count. So I guess my chest is getting stronger. Mission accomplished. Whew. This is really frustrating. Wow, I actually hit the B, even though it's not solid. 
so my low notes are not complete crap. Yeah, it's it's been 10 years since I played regularly, so it's really difficult to pick it up again. Just getting a good tone is really hard. Should we try listening to it? much easier to pick up an instrument you've learned before. That's why I'm picking up the flute again, even though I wouldn't say it's my favorite instrument, but it's the instrument I've been playing for a good seven years plus, so. What's my favorite instrument? I like how the piano sounds. I like instruments that don't need accompaniment. Like the flute is a solo instrument, so usually you have to play it with piano accompaniment at the very minimal. So something that I could make the harmony together. So like guitar or piano, those are both very nice instruments to play just by yourself. I mean, if you're playing as part of a group, then flute is fine, but just by yourself, it sounds kind of hollow and empty, so. That's it, I think that's it. I was gonna just do this unlisted so that no one could watch it, but yeah, I guess I should just keep streaming my practices. I actually found out that I actually have the sheet music for the, the piece that I was trying to play by ear. So since I have the music right in front of me on PDF, I might as well just read it instead of trying to figure out the notes myself by ear. She's outside my door. Better let her in. Uh, she always bothers me. She wants attention or food or wants to go out or she's always unhappy just being by herself. So I guess she's bored. Mochi. Okay, so played the flute for the first time in years. I was trying to play it by ear at first, and then I found that I actually have the sheet music on my computer, so started reading the sheet music. Still a lot of work to do, and I'm not even focusing on the dynamics right now. I'm just trying to get the notes down. So in terms of dynamics, I have a lot of work to do on top of just getting the notes. I'm trying to make it musical. But yeah, it would be cool if I could do this almost every day and get to the level that I once was. In Canada, we have RCM exams showcase your level of performance. In flute, it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and then ARCT. And I did RCM grade 9. I did okay, I got an 85 out of 100. My grade 6 exam, I did much better. The grade 6 exam, I got 95, which was really high. But the grade 9 exam, I was not as well prepared busy with high school at the time. But practicing flute is very time consuming. Um, it's good to get at least 20 to 30 minutes and just to warm up, it takes like five, 10 minutes just to warm up and get a good tone going. So that's the downside of, I guess, having a woodwind instrument that requires good tone. You have to nail down the tone before you can start playing very well so it was a dreary day today very dark and rainy outside since the early afternoon just it's still raining hail as well very cold but i'm glad i got my flute practice in today got my workout in i got some reading in too so that was good reality transurfing still reading that it was a good day even though it doesn't feel like a very good day because of the weather i guess and it influences my mood but given what i did today it was a good day 1% better every day, baby.